Hello again, this is another uh, PixArt video I did over a stream. This one I was doing an isometric uh, house. So I started by building the grid and out of the grid I build a box. And I was going to use that box as a way to shape the silhouette of the house. And I was doing this as a sort of explaining the shape that I wanted. And here I'm sort of tracing over the key elements that are going to be the foundation and the structure of the house. So the uh, structure for the ceilings, the, the ceiling panes, the roof panes and uh, then copying and pasting things over following the grid as a way to make sure that things are all lined up. Now this design, and I'm having a few issues with sort of solving this design in my head as I didn't really do any sketches previously. So I'm kind of trying to figure out as I go because I think that's also uh, fun to do. And um, gradually building the house uh, allows for not only for you to try and figure out interesting shapes but also sort of allows you to explore the volumes and what you can make using primitive shapes. I build a palette before and the reason I build a palette before is just so that I had a lot of colors to pick from but at this point I really don't buy an engagement ring for my palette because I can still change my mind and I probably will change my mind quite a lot. I'm also trying to blend the two palettes together so that sh the shades for the roof and the shades for the walls of the house. I'm trying to sort of bring them together as they go towards the dark tones so that I can use the dark tone for both of the color groups. Also, um, the, so far the roof kind of looks like it's made of plastic because it's lacking in texture. And it's only lacking in texture because I've added texture to other parts of the house. So for example, the walls and some of those columns down in the center. And the point of this was just to try and imitate the materials that these are made of in the real um, sort of in the real world situation. I also remember that I'd like to quite like to add this sort of Victorian, you know, actually more like Dickens kind of um, a chimney. <laughs> I was actually explaining a weird trick that I use for other other types of art, not really pixel art. Um, the only issue issue with this the way that the 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 sort of chimney was was that it was lined up with that the basic center mast or center uh, column wooden column on the house now I'm adding a bit of texture here and I also add an extra couple of shades and these extra couple of shades allow you in a way to add a bit more interest to the material but they actually also add quite a lot of colors and, and in the end they, it's noise so what I do here is I just make one roof tile and then I start duplicating them, see if I made a tile that's the right size. And I actually quite luckily hit the uh, roof size quite well. So I actually end up uh, building uh, the roof out of those tiles. And I'm just duplicating stuff. And now you probably haven't noticed yet, but a little later down the stream, someone mentioned that I had just actually covered up the detail that I had on the roof just by fiddling around with my intention to add this sort of really intricate um, roof tile texture. And the point of that is just to add the visual interest to a part that was a little forgotten. I copied the bottom roof to sort of put it over the, uh, sort of put it over the house uh, on the side of this, the roof as well, but I kind of didn't like it. So this was me just building a stone tower and the stone tower is gonna go on the side of the house. And this was created only to add visual interest to the overall architecture of the house because so far it's a couple of boxes with a roof on top. I mean, I try to make it more interesting using colors and textures, but the architecture itself isn't really anything out of the ordinary. So by adding this, um, I can sort of bring this into being more like a manor sort of house, or maybe it's a little bit more like a, a wizard's house or a scholar's house. That There's a tower that maybe it's an observatory or maybe it's just a like a study room or something like that. And it really turns into that as I add this sort of cone-shaped roof. Uh, I don't want to go through the trial of creating all of those tiles um, in a conical area. So instead, I draw the texture by hand, um, but simulating sort of what it would look like if shingles were laid onto this sort of conical shape. As I'm doing this, I'm always asking the people in the stream what they think and maybe asking some opinions. So some of the things that pop up aren't actually 100% my idea. Uh, people also suggest stuff. Now I'm doing one of those wind-based, um, uh, was it like, it's not a really, it's like a wind dial or something like that. I don't really know the name for it. 
but I have to put the rooster on because the rooster is the icon of my city, uh, the city where I'm from, uh, which is Versailles in Portugal. And it's like a national symbol, so it's a bit of a, there's a bit of sort of an Easter egg, uh, in this case, Easter rooster. Also, on the side, I decided to add some vegetation, a little bit more detail. I started to build this pine tree out of shapes, and I'm sort of trying to see if I can get away with it. But it quickly becomes a palm tree that's really badly rendered. So I start by doing the, the pine tree the way that I usually do, which is building a silhouette and then sort of creating areas. And as you can see, almost immediately with two colors, it looks a bit more interesting because it has a bit more shape, right? Than just this sort of regular uh, made up of bits that really don't make any sense. Um, and now I'm adding a bit more detail by creating a pig it was a pig pen I'm not really sure it was just like an animal pen uh, just for being able to create a shape around the house that I could sort of um, center everything around or just sort of put everything together in a way and by doing that I'm then allowed to use uh, a nice green and uh, some leaves on the ground to uh, sort of give it this sort of uh, cartoony look but sort of pleasing and inviting kind of uh, look the issue with the uh, pig pens is that you have to have the muddy bit and putting the mud next to the grass is always an issue because you don't really want to have a, a sharp transition but you also don't want to have a smooth transition so it's always a, a mix of texture based transitions but anyway uh, ended up by making this really tiny tiny pig just as a way to, to have something there even if it's just for scale this is the final result uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something. So take care and I'll see you next time.